Greetings and welcome back to New Tynemouth. My name is Tobel. Look at all these cute, cute houses. I'm super excited about the fact that we're finally pumping out these building supplies and we're able to get this ring around the city that I was hoping for. I like this. I really do like how this looks, by the way. I think this looks pretty slick. A lot. I want to be a barber surgeon, by the way. That doesn't seem complicated at all. I don't remember what job you were. Stonecutter? Did I kill your job somewhere along the way? I think I put you somewhere over here. We've made a lot of changes, obviously, last episode. We shuffled things around. If you skipped an episode, shame on you. Go back right now. Everything is broken. Um, we wound up moving things around, of course, because we're trying to do more localized production chains. So we're trying to keep the raw materials close to the production building. So, for example, all of these shore houses will be delivering their goods to either the glassworks or the brickworks, clay or sand. We also have a storage barn in play here. We also still have this pottery area over here, so we're uh, the potter is going to be using some of the shore house materials as well. For the most part, though, I think a lot of our other services and buildings are relatively close together. Stop dying. Okay, so, <laughs> by the way, did we ever accept all those migrants? We did, didn't we? We had a huge influx of migrants last game, last episode, so... Lots of folks in town. Did everyone get a house? Yeah, there's just a lot of people without jor uh, jorbs. <laughs> jorbs. Uh, they're going to take our jorbs, all these migrants. Okay, so we can't build a wall. We're going to let them in because we love them. And we bring them with open arms because we are also um, outcasts from our own country, right? I think so. So, uh, what's our sawmills up to? we got lumber. We've got firewood. Are we okay on both? I think so because we started... Yeah, we're building a bunch of new... We've got a ton of buildings in play, but we also have a ton of builders, which is a good, uh, a good thing as well, with all of these changes a-coming. So we've got more foresting on this side. Uh, food's a little bit low. We did muck, muck about with some of the fishing stuff, though, so I'm hoping the fishing should even out soon. We have our first big harvest of our five new fields that we relocated. We didn't touch the orchard. I think I increased the population or the worker population of the gathering hut. Why are we missing a gatherer here? I don't know where that ninth gatherer is going. Four here, four at the other hut. Uh, maybe it counts for the um, the herbalist here. No? Shepherd maybe? Hey, there he is. Okay. So the wild shepherd's still doing his thing. We're trying to bring in more domesticated animals for our milking barn. Uh, a couple things I've been talking about forever and ever. One of the big things is I need a freaking trade good. We need to get some stuff going to make money to get out to the rest of the world because we need to start buying more seeds. We need to get seeds in here so we can make wheat, uh, to make, you know, uh, mead so we can have a tavern and we can have all that sort of fun stuff. So I want to start pushing on that pretty hard soon. Let's take a look at what we could possibly make. We have tons of we have tons of precious not precious per se but um, we have lots of goodies here. We've got silver ore, right? We've got do we have any gold right now? Not really. Now we can start making silver fenning and also the gold guilders, although they don't really seem to be worth all that much. One gold guilder is worth ten in in trade value points, I guess. In tokens, we'll call them just like tokens from Chuck E. Cheese. Um, we have any kind of fabrics? This is all going to be precious, precious items. Gem cutters might be useful. Precious polished gemstones. Now, does this precious mine give out gemstones, or is it only gold and silver? I, I'm guessing this is some kind of a gem. I have no idea, to be honest. Um, oh, precious mine for more research production. Oh, it's it's upgrading a precious mine into another precious mine. Russell's. I'm still bitter about the fact that I left a giant hole in the ground. Super sorry about that still. We did put down a new quarry, so that's going to get finished at some point soon because we got a little bit low on stone, although all of those laborers have gone out and since murdered every stone pile in the world. So, uh, we're doing better on stone now. I mean, I don't know what else we could be doing here. We could start looking at, like, ropery, maybe, glassworks we've got going... We could start doubling up our buildings to separate the production out. You know how we have two uh, we have two sawmills, right? One working on each part. So what can we be doing with our industry here? A lot of people aren't working on anything. 
The brick works obviously is getting replaced. The glass works is oh, we've hit our crafted limit. Have we? No, we're missing we're missing resources, that's right. Let's go ahead and actually we've got two people working here, two people here. Now nah, we'll wait till the other buildings get done. I don't want to have them running around for no reason yet. Uh, what else we got going on? We've got our smelter smelting iron right at the source, which is useful. Metalsmith making pewterware. What else can you do here, really? Ten pewter, two furnace fuel. Are you making pewter down here? You're making bronze. We were making bronze because we wanted to do the gazebo, which we now have. So why don't we switch this back up to pewter? Tin and copper ore. Which we have... Tin and... Are we out of copper? That would be a bit of a shocker. Are we... What are we pulling that's using so much copper? We have a copper mine in full production, don't... Uh, I thought we did. You're making copper ore here. Where's it going? Are we taking it downtown for some reason? No. That's really bizarre. We have a lot of bronze left over now, which is nice. What else is using copper here? This is iron and coal. We still have plenty of tools, I think. Ish. Tools-ish. We've got plenty of fuel. That's kind of curious. I don't actually know where all the copper is going. We have a lot of workers here. We actually could bump this number up. Uh, so we have even more workers at the mines. We can make copper ore or cop refined copper, but the foundry or the forge requires copper ore. Now here's another thing too. I could probably relocate or I could have planned this entire area out better and moved all of these items along like right next to the mines. I could put the forge directly across the street from the mine and I might do that one day. Uh, we do have the ability to upgrade our mines in order to make... Uh, once you upgrade your mine, you can remove it and remove the hole in the ground. So I could do that by making... Why don't we start that? Let's go ahead and put down... We have we have plenty of workers right now. Let's put down a couple of these other buildings. So we wanted to have an apiary, for example. Uh, we've been doing weird stuff over here. So let's put an apiary down... Oh, I don't know, somewhere in this general vicinity here. This is a bit of a side road. We'll give it a, a bit of a gap in case we uh, move some buildings back a bit. The deer butcher, he's been butchering deer for ages and ages. <clears throat> Wharf and ship, we don't really have any ability to make ships yet. A lot of canning stuff, we don't really have the kind of the production chain yet to do this. Do these do anything? That's cool. It provides clean water, which can be used at the pub kitchen to fill tin canteens. Do we need to make canteens for people? God, I didn't even know that was a thing. Sure, let's make a city water tank. That seems adorable. Uh, let's put the city water tank in the city. We'll put it over closer to... I don't know. Put it right here, I suppose? No idea. We'll, we'll just put it in the center of town and hope it doesn't break and flood and kill everyone. Uh, let's see, our, our root sellers are doing what they need to do, which is awesome. Hopefully localized storage so these uh, these farmers... Oh no, we lost our harvest. It is winter time. I completely forgot about that. Well, luckily, we seem to be keeping up with the the food joneses, if you will, because we got up to 2,000 food. We were at about 1,000 some odd. Alright, what else do we have going on? Let's speed the game up while I'm sitting here looking at nothing, by the way. I'm sorry to make you wait for, for things to happen. We're just basically killing time until a lot more of our stuff gets finished here. What other food type buildings we haven't looked at? Pastures, of course, we've killed. I managed to kill all of my animals, um, so I don't have any of that. Food refining, raw food. Hunting blinds, not really super fun. Etc, etc. Plantations do what? Cotton, flax, and tobacco? Which we don't have any of yet. About to have our trading post finally back up and running again. All right, so we did put down the apiary. Let's go ahead and put down the refinement of that into candle. Let's put a... Is it candelier? Chandlery? Chandlery. We'll put a chandlery down. I'm surprised I can even say that without screwing it up. Let's put the chandlery down right next to the apiary. So everyone has to deal with bees for days. Cool. We'll put you over here. What's our lumber doing? Uh, 
Uh, getting used up pretty well. I think a lot of our wood problems are going to help get resolved once we get another set of sawmills with these foresters. So that should help resolve some of our wood problems. Are we good on this? We've got plenty of textiles. Yeah, I'm feeling overall pretty good. Our our fuel has gone down a lot. Let's check the um, the old yield store here, the yield graph. Can we check our fuel status? I wish this was alphabetized so badly. I can't check fuel. Well, shoot. I am I am a sad human. I don't know what industrial means per se. Oh well. Um, we'll keep an eye on this. This is at 50, and I think we were, I thought we were higher than that before, so we'll have to keep an eye out and make sure we're not running out of any kind of a fuel resource, because that's going to be a big one. A lot of buildings are using the fuel resources, so if this happens to dip below, too much below 500, uh, we'll take care of that. What's going on here? No citizens? Did everyone die? No. What the hell? You can't tell me we don't have enough miners for all this stuff. Oh shit, <laughs> they all started working at the quarry. Okay, let's bump the quarry down to about six people. Honestly, like just four. We only need stone and whatnot gathered at the moment. So we, we've got plenty of stone. I'll tell you what, let's bump this on down to two. And that should fix some of our problems here. I was like, where did they all go? All right, two here, four, four, great, four as well, and four. So everyone's loaded out in the mining area. Yeah, we are loaded for bear here. Um, crushed by a rock. Super sad about that, buddy. This is going to be a really messy burial. We have plenty of graves left, so we can have a lot more people dying left and right. Hey, our dock is finished again. Let's go ahead and put down a road so that our dock worker doesn't have to break a leg getting to and fro. Stone road, please, of course, because only the best for you, my friendly dock worker. I can't see this stupid uh, area anymore. Where did I put this at? Right here? Cool, close enough. Lots of folks dying off, but at the other end of that, lots of folks coming out of school, thankfully, to, to replace those who are croaking. Uh, do we want to do something with the church down the road? I know we wanted to kind of redesign the intro, the intro, uh, the inner area somewhere here. Oh shit, our food out of nowhere is super low. Completely missed that. Awkward. Um, <laughs> about that. We do have a hunting lodge that can add a couple more people to it. So don't we have do we have two hunting lodges or just one? I think we killed the old hunting lodge up here. We did. Um, we've got a bunch of more a bunch more wood stuff finished. So I need to add more workers. I think overall, yeah. Okay, eight there. Two and let's add ten and okay. We're really dipping into our laborer pool here. So. We want to make sure, though, that we've got plenty of lumber and plenty of firewood. That's one thing I really don't want to run out of. Um, for the rest of this, I think we're going to have to... We've got two fisheries that are kind of overlapping. I don't want to put another fishery down because I think it reduces the effectiveness of what you catch. So I think our fisheries are at the limit. We have a long time before the next harvest, which really kind of sucks. We could put down yet another gathering hut. We have two gathering huts on either side of the city. I wonder if we can squeeze by on what we have. I'm a little worried. I don't want to, like, leave it to the last minute. But I know we're going to have a huge influx of food whenever the field comes... Uh, whenever the yield comes in. But that's still going to be a ways out. Is there anything else we can do in the meantime that's going to be more immediate? Really, fisheries are the only thing that come in so quick. And the gathering hut. I think the gathering hut is, is really the best option. Let's put one more down over here behind everything else. And we'll put the road, give it a little bit of a, a stone road here. Right smack dab into the uh, gathering hut. Okay, I will prioritize that as well. Hopefully that'll take. I don't know if the priority system even works a lot. Yeah, reserve of food is low. We totally got that. Meanwhile, what else has been going on? We've been waiting for these buildings to get built for a bit. We have fancy homers have been delivered to a lot of these. Oh, wow. A lot of colonial houses in a row. I must have gone crazy with colonial houses. Drunk with colonial house envy. 
Uh, let's go ahead and switch things over to fancy... Was it pewterware and silverware? Do we have both? Pewterware too. So let's do a little bit of fancy homewares for... Oh shit, five? Seven? Ugh. I don't think we have that much pewterware to be honest with you. Hey, we have a ton of fancy furniture. Holy crap. Well, we're never going to have that problem again. Fancy furniture. There's 12 pewterware here. So we have an, enough for two, I think, fancy furniture, fancy things. Uh, we have pewter and furnace fuel. You're still pumping out pewter. Did you finally get some more copper? I guess your copper is going directly to the to the forge. I don't know where else copper is going at this point. I don't think it's going anywhere. Oh shit, our church is completely full. Didn't we want to put a church back here at some point? Or were we going to mess around with having like cool little designs behind the homes? Oh, that's cool. It has a house, a door on either side of the house. Uh, we talked about a church. Let's see, let's go into the services menu. Church and central church. This is a massive one. I love how big the central church is. I really, really do. I want to just plop that right in the middle of town. We, we were we had talked about killing the central road, didn't we? At some point? I almost want to put the services all on one corner. We have a couple of these types of buildings, like building refinery, which I think building suppliers and homeware suppliers should be in the central area. Along with the tailor, eventually we'll make a city tailor, I think, and the city... You know, things that pull from different areas should be close to the center. I don't think we have that many services that we're going to need. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's kill the uh, the herbalist off and the old town market. It's going to take a while for the old town market to empty out. But what I would like to do... Let's reduce the job count to six. Yeah, that should even everything back out again. Lots more laborers again. Um, let's try to put down a big honking church here. Oh, did we want to do it like line it up so it's it's straight on? I think that's what I talked about, right? So we'll kill the old church. We'll have to move the hospital over. I don't mind either of those options. Uh, let's see, services. I think we talked about adding some side roads to make it. Oh, that's gonna look glorious. I can't I can't pass up an opportunity to have something perfectly symmetrical. Look at that. Oh, it's it's too good to be true. Uh, so we can do that. A, a big church here. We can even add a little, like, a, a cemetery inside the city. Like, most, you know... Like, yeah, right here. What do we have to have a size? Seven by something. Seven by seven is the minimum size. So we could stick that in here. Have the... You know, and even having the hospital up front would make sense, right? Because sometimes uh, people don't always make it, right? That would make sense. All right, let's put down... The... Oh, hey, we haven't had an apothecary yet, have we? I finally had the building supplies for it and completely forgot. Does the apothecary take the place of an herbalist? I think it does. I don't think we need an herbalist anymore. Let's put down the city hospital. This is... We had a general hospital, right? The soap opera? Yeah. <laughs> we have a central hospital or... Uh, sorry, city hospital or regular hospital. We'll do a city hospital here. This is going to work. I'm super excited. What, do we, what else do we need to move? Just the hospital. We are going to have to kill this church, which, you know, I'm sure people are going to be grumpy for a second while we do that. Um, so the apothecary here, the city hospital here, and then we'll have like a little side road going back to the to the graveyard inside this, qu this quadrant, if you will. Oh, it's going to be great. I'm super excited. We should add a couple more wells, by the way, because we haven't had wells in a while, and I really don't want to get caught with my my well down, my pants down. And, yeah, let's do that there. I'm gonna have to kill this, this well, I think, and this church. Do we want to relocate the school, too? We could actually put the school, the farmer's college, we could build another farmer's college. Uh, that was a one-room schoolhouse, like, somewhere, like, right here. Once the, um, the old town markets gets destroyed. So all of our service buildings turn up in this little quadrant here with a little bit of a graveyard. I think that'd be kind of cool. And maybe we relocate our, our 
these two buildings, the building supplier, or this one building, the building supplier over here, so that's in one quadrant too. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. I'm really eager to see how these buildings turn out. Remember, we talked about giving this more of a gap uh, because I wanted to add in some little decorations here and there. Boy, that's one thing I really should have left myself more space. I normally build right up against the road, but you really don't have to in this game. I don't, I don't think that's ever a requirement in Banished to build right up against the road. Is it? I mean, you don't have carts that have to be delivered from point A to point B. It would make sense, but it's not necessarily required. All right, so a couple things I told, I said I check on our fuel is, is staying very steady at 500, which is what we want. Is it, we have a refinery. Oh, you know what? That's why it's sitting there at 500. Let's bump this up to a thousand so we go through a ton of fuel. We have a ton of fuel stored up. Uh, we have tons of fuel, have tons of furniture, crafted items. We're still low on f on food, but I think we're going to make it through to the harvest. It looks like we should be fine. We're, we're on this like precarious balance, but as soon as all five fields come in, I think we're going to be in a better place. Uh, let's go ahead and give... Oh, we still have one trading post worker, which is great. I wonder how much domesticated animals are worth. I'm going to have to sell the farm next time a, a, a ship comes through that has a seed or something that we're looking for, like some of those animals. I, I would sell anything at this point. I also think that the next batch of farms or ranch that we do, I'd like to do it across the river. Because we've got tons of space open here, lots of lo lots of open space. Only one worker would have to come across the bridge, and I could put a house here. In fact, since we do have a couple people who will be living across the way, we could put a cute little house down here. I don't think I want to do go too crazy. Let's just put down like a, a, a country house. No, I really don't even want to use my my precious resources. Let's put down a couple of stone houses here on this side of the river. Just that way it services the trading post and then if we were to build any more ranch uh, ranches or farms over here, we would have some houses and they're close enough to get most of their resources, I hope. Uh, or they'll starve. I don't it, it's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> All right, we still have to build our apiary, our chandlery. We're still tearing down the old market. There's so much stuff. We have so many builders, but there's just so many open projects going on right now. Let's speed things up a bit and uh, wait for something fun to get finished. Oh no! Didn't take long, but I already noticed a problem. We're out of logs. Now, we do have a couple of foresters here. Why are we short? Let's add one more. Somewhere there's a, a forester gone awry. Oh, hey, a merchant has arrived. Our first merchant of the rebuild. You are a merchant of what? Hardwood, sand, and clay. Isn't that super, super heavy? Aren't you going to, like, freaking sink your boat? All right, what can I order from you? Great. <laughs> Nothing but sand, clay. Get, get, go home. No one likes you, sir. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and dismiss. How do I dismiss again? down here. Okay. You know, I never did look at the auto purchase system. I don't know if that's going to be super useful. Auto purchase never. Are they auto purchasing from us? Because it seems pretty weird to set an auto purchase for a random thing like clothes or, or sorry, what's, what's a mixed bag? Crafted. Crafted is just a category. We are not specifying what we're selling or buying. I have no idea. I'm hearing sounds outside of my game. I think it's actually raining outside, and I was like, it's not raining in Banished. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's right. The real world still exists. Uh, what else is going on? We got some copper ore, so that means our pewter is getting made, which means our pewter ware is getting made, which means we could probably switch back over to fancy furniture for just a second. We needed two fancy furniture for this colonial house over here. We got a captain's... Do we get that captain's tower done? <laughs> I don't know why we have a captain's tower. Don't ask questions. We don't... I won't tell you any lies, folks. There's so many folks at this game who are so incredibly creative. I would say this, but really, I would say something like... Um, 
Oh, what's the what's the city builder that that came up? City Skylines, right? I've watched some people play City Skylines, and the level of detail, and also the level of quality in mods. But I mean, you're talking about people who are adding parked cars along a storefront and painting their roads a certain way and having a dedicated. And I mean, it's like it's building by building. It's like they're going street by street and perfecting the layout. And I think that's so so challenging and so awesome to see and I am I am both appreciative and envious of their abilities in that way uh, let's see we're getting warnings about food food and logs we all we're good there our harvest is about to come in so I'm not too worried about food most of these houses should have some supply of food yeah a couple hundred supply of fish um, looking good there how many building supply we were still on what are we on Gla glass lumber iron so this has been going pretty smoothly for a while, right? We've had building supplies for ages. Nothing here, but probably downtown. 13 building supplies here, six building supplies there. Well, that's exciting. At least we're finally pumping out the building supplies like crazy. Let's pump up our builder job uh, workers, rather. Do I have too many people? Not enough people here? What's going on? Oh, it's doing that weird thing where it limits the amount of people working at a sawmill to one. Four, four, two. Gene the Miner was killed by a cave-in. Sorry, Gene. We shall remember you fondly. Alright, let's bump that up to 14. Yes, we know you're dead. As long as it's not a plague, I, at this point, I don't really care. <laughs> Honest to goodness. These houses are so cute. Except for the tower, that just looks weird. I'm not a big fan of the tower. Should I put that off to the side, I suppose? I would have liked to an, an option to attach that to the house. Uh, I'll tell you what, we've got two of these sawmills going. I mean, we should have a lot more logs, shouldn't we? What is, are we just killing our logs like crazy right now? We do have a lot of people working at these, both of these sawmills. What else is getting, is taking logs? It's just pretty much our firewood and our lumber. Maybe these folks haven't started cutting trees now. Although it looks a little bit thinner over here, doesn't it? Forester Lodge, Forester Lodge. That's a lot of trees to cut down. Hmm. Maybe they've really not started working over here yet. Uh, we lost a wild shepherd somewhere along the way. What, what opened up that required... Oh, oh, you know what? Didn't we put down a... Um... Yeah, we put on a gathering hut over here. Okay, cool. So let's put the gathering hut at one more number up. So now we are back up to maximum gatherers huts. So why are you behind in the harvest? 43%, 50%, 70%. Don't be fields. We don't want this thing to go broke. All right, we're starting to get back some of our old buildings. So we've got, oh wow, all of our shore houses are up. Let's go ahead and switch this over to clay. Start getting that production fixed up again. I am going to go ahead and terminate the old glass works over here as well as the brick works we'll remove those uh, that should clear up that problem so the glass works is back to making normal glass we'll be using sand and furnace fuel which you have plenty of at this point and there should be furnace fuel in town yeah there is so hopefully and I don't know where they are let's see what are you doing what do you do you're carrying sand Fair enough. I think they actually had to run, uh, to run into town to get sand because it wasn't quite ready yet. Now, we have a storage barn, so hopefully any sand... Damn it, did we not get the harvest in, you guys? This is not good. If we can't make a single harvest, what the hell is happening here? What? What is... Shoot, is it distance between workers and their house? We weren't able to get this harvest in. I don't think that's ever happened before. Or unless we managed to get a harvest mid mid year and I missed it. Hang on, how far are you coming to work each day? Cause that is a big problem. You guys are really close, I think. I'll tell you what, just to make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a bunch of stone homes right here on the edge. I normally don't like to do that dedicated, but I, they should be able to get whatever they need from the town. They're almost in their in range here. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll do this. I will kill these couple. 
let's redesign this layout so that it's all within the circle of the the town market here. This should be good. There should be plenty of houses for anyone. You know what? We'll add one more just for fun because it's going to include people who are working at the fishery as well. Um, maybe this will help everyone. Let's add. Let's add a bit more. The hell's here? Oh, <laughs> the orchard. All right. Let's see. Let's kill the orchard. Or we'll kill that house. Then we'll leave the orchard there. Um, but yeah, if we're if we're not able to make a full yield, I don't know. Do we have? Is this too big? Hang on, I'll tell you what, I want to go offline real quick. I don't know if you saw that. I'm alt-tabbing. I'm doing uh, horrible things while recording. Kent, er, Kent, wrong game. Banished calculator. We're going to figure this out together, you guys. Uh, there is a cal- now this is the problem. I don't know, I am using a modded game, so I don't know if the calculations are the exact same in Banished Vanilla as they are in the the expansion here that we're using I should I should check the size what is the size of this farm this is a um hi row wherefore did you go okay here we go uh we've got right about here so it is a what it is a 8 by 20 right okay so 8 by 20 is 8 by 20 it's not even in the list 8 by 15 says you have to ha you can have one worker. Okay, so in theory then you'd need two workers for anything over that. 11 by 11, 10 by 12, 8 by 15. So as you start going over 8 by 15, it looks like you're going to need two workers. Well, shoot. Um since all of these fields self-destructed, I'm going to do this. I'm going to kill all the fields right now. How do I actually delete a field? I think I have to do it. Or do they just pop? Okay, hang on. How do... Okay, I think I just killed them all by doing that, right? Okay, so all these are dead. I'm going to I'm gonna redo some of the fields. We're going to make it so that it's right with the calculator. And hopefully this is uh, giving me the right information. So... Where we start over here somewhere? Let's start by the road, because that's one guaranteed spot. So it's telling me that at 8 by 15, we are getting the maximum amount of food per worker, from what I understand. So it's most efficient, basically, at 8 by 15. So, 8, 15... And maybe that's the thing. Maybe people can only work so many tiles uh you know per season i thought they just grew on their own but i'm you know obviously it requires some tending to as well so maybe i made these a bit too wide and maybe with the distance they're having to travel as well that's not helping all right so we've got fields at 8 by 15 i might even include more fields down here down the road but for the moment we'll see if we can't figure this problem out uh we have lots of builders still and laborers so we'll hopefully they'll be able to take care of that pretty quick i'm really bummed about that that was uh I was kind of hoping for that that cash cow, that bumper crop. Now I'm a little bit worried about food because we're going into the winter. Boy, wouldn't that be horrible? 24 years in the game and suddenly the massive die-off that kills everyone. We are still really low on wood, too. You can see that they're clear-cutting a lot of areas here with the, with the logs. We don't even have that many people working in the sawmill at this point. We could also bring in... Maybe that's part of the reason to have... Oh yeah, that's right. Everything's already cleared up <laughs> for these fields, by the way. Okay. Turnips it is. Quick. It's uh, it's late winter. Let's go out to the field. You have one tree? How the hell did you have a tree? There wasn't even a tree beforehand. I think I had a farm on this side too, didn't I? 8 by 15. Perfecto. Alright. So our farmers are coming back to work. After the harsh winter, hopefully the 8x15 calculation is right. Uh, what other good news do we have? Hey, our home front here is done. Adorable. Did we ever finish this stupid town market? Can I please rush this? Let's go and put this as a priority to remove this bad boy.
I'm really impressed with our count of people in this town right now. Super excited about how big our new Tynemouth is getting these days. Granted, everyone might be on the brink of starvation or cannibalism. That's fine. You know, what What city hasn't had to deal with a, a bit of cannibalism, you know? You can barely call yourself a city if you haven't thought about cannibalism, right? Alright, let's get some, uh, let's get a little nice little brick road as an alleyway. I want to mess with a couple of decorations just because I never really get to. And uh, we're going to see what kind of cool little things we can do here. Oh, I like these tall hedges. <laughs> I'm just going to close off their entire door so they, <laughs> so they can't even get in their house. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. I think I can put one. No, I can't because of the way the house is. That's fine. That's fine. All right, we'll try these hedges here and see what they look like. There's also that flower bed, I think, that was like a straight-on flower bed. So we could have had that come all the way across. We'll mess with that a little bit, too, see if that looks uh, something enjoyable or not. Looks pretty or not. We'll find out. Uh, we finished this farm. Let's go ahead and put this onto turnips. Thank you so much. But a bunch of people not working at what jobs? You're all doing shoreman. Wait, why aren't you working at your shoreman jobs anymore? Do we have not enough shoreman jobs? Oh, did I increase it to two? Were we having two per? That might have made more sense. That's a lot of people working at the shoreman job, though. <laughs> Let's bump that down a notch, and we'll we'll come back to it once we have even more people. Alright, what are you bringing us, my friend? We're out of firewood, too. Man, we are struggling right now. I'm going to have to go through the production chains and see where all of our craziness is happening. You have... Oh, this is us. Okay, sorry. This is what you're bringing me. Um, healing broth, healing oil, rough tools. Thank you so much, but I'm going to pass on your kind offer. Uh, we did get our apiary and our chandlery down. However, because of the current labor crisis, if you will... I think I'm going to hold off on that until we we kind of get things a little bit more evened out. Now, to be fair, remember, I did complain, about, or I did warn myself about the fact that, you know, there's a chance by accepting 22 migrants it's going to upset the balance. Well, now you're starting to see that. We even added two more Forester Lodges, specifically, I think, to counter the threat of what we were going to lose. And yet, here we are. We're still super short on logs and everything else. Uh, let's see, you are an herbalist, herbalist, kilman, and kilman. So you're going to get your jobs back. The herbalist, though, might have a bit of a problem. Uh, let's also prioritize removing this building, the apothecary. Oh, actually, hang on. Can I just do this? Uh, let's reclaim it and say no job. There we go. Now she's not going to complain about having no job. Cool. Prioritize that, please, if you don't mind. Wow, we really need someone to be... <laughs> That's so crazy. We need someone to work at the water tower? That's nuts. Um, I think I'm going to keep that job postponed for the moment. I don't think we need that per se. Where are you guys at? I don't see anyone working at the field right now. That a... That's not a... It's not a terribly long commute, but having the house be right here would be a little bit easier. Here's one thing I haven't watched in a long or looked at in a long time. Does any member or do all members of the household go to gather goods? I don't recall. It, there was a game, um, City of the Nile. Was that it? Egypt City of the Nile? Something of the Nile. I'm pretty sure it was like City of the Nile or something like that. And the way it worked was I think one... One person in the family worked, and the other person in the family went to get stuff from the market. So it was it was pretty much you're always guaranteed to have someone go looking for goods and bringing things back to your house while other people, someone else was doing the work of the day. I think the kids helped with that as well. Um, I don't... It's been a long time. That was such a fun, unique game because they had uh, one of the first games, I think, to introduce kind of um, a cast system. So they had to, you know, be a certain, uh, a certain quality and you had to have certain housing requirements based on that and certain good requirements. Caesar 3, I believe, did it as well in a certain, in a, in a different aspect, but they're, you know, similar style games, but different nuances here and there. 
those hedges look kind of nice. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Not too shabby. Uh, let's see. We're okay on food. Now, what concerns me, though, is that we're not seeing the true effect of the problem with food. Because what happens is, over time, people will go out and grab what they can. But instead of having a really well-stocked home, they're going to have a, you know, less and less over time until eventually all these homes are sitting on, like, one bushel of, uh, one barrel of, you know, a bushel of apples or a barrel of fish or something. So it is a concern, for sure. <laughs> I really wish we didn't lose our llamas. Stupid llamas. <laughs> Damn stupid llamas. I feel like our, sh our good shepherd here is uh, is not doing what he used to do anymore. He's not too good anymore these days. All right, uh, we finally were able to get the other building uh, destroyed. Was that the herbalist? So we have an apothecary. We have the city hospital that's going to get built. I think I said I wanted to do the farmer's college, which starts out, I thought, as a school, a single room school. Was that the, the same thing, schoolhouse? I think it was the single room school because that can be upgraded. All right, we're going to put this here, uh, right at, yeah, we'll step off a bit. I don't know. We'll do that. So this should give us enough room for both a road and the graveyard and uh, the church and the dead center. So that's going to be fine. We're going to wait for these hos this hospital to be completed. The apothecary is almost done. Once this hits its spot, we're going to kill the chapel and try to rush uh, the big church. By the way, what does the big church need? I think we have everything for it. Cool. All right, so we've got everything we need for that big central church. Oh, these numbers make me want to cry. Look how low we are on everything. We have a ton of laborers. Do we just want to go ham and kill a bunch of trees? Do we just want to say screw nature? Screw nature, let's do it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a manual destruction of trees here for a bit because we are in such a awkward spot right now in terms of logging. So I'm going to give some orders to help clean things up a bit. It's going to look a little bit barren after this is done, but this should help with our, our current problem of logs. Now, food is another story because we're not even close right now to the harvest, and it's already late spring. So I have no idea if we're going to make it this time around or not. I hate being on the, the edge of food production. It really makes me nervous. <laughs> we'll get there in time. Hey, we finally killed that one barn. We have, we have so many buildings that require builders right now. Let's go ahead and bump the, the builder population up a bit. Do, do, do duplicate forester lodges reduce the effectiveness of each other I'm curious about I would think they just they both go out and get the foresting done but maybe there's a back end calculation that's not dependent on you know who's where I have no idea okay so we've got the hospital up let's go ahead and pr let's do this we're gonna go uh, destroy the hospital destroy the church let's go ahead and prioritize the destruction of both of those we're also going to do the removal of the, the road behind the or next to the church. Let's go ahead and prioritize all of this stuff to get done. I do want to rush getting the new church up as soon as I can. It, it's mostly just lumber, right? We have tons of lumber, I hope. Yeah, there's 51 just sitting there. There's some sitting over there, so it's not too shabby. Hey, there's some fancy homewares over here, too. Oh, that that's right. Let's switch back to doing normal furniture for a bit. What were we using? Furniture and pottery? Yeah, that seems fine. Do we have pot we have someone working on pottery? Yeah, clay. We should have I mean your clay production should be through the roof right now. Tell you what, let's bump this back up. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that should be two at each of these buildings right now. What was your yearly production, my friends? Uh sand, clay, clay. Okay, that's that's fine. It should be going I was hoping to the barn, but it looks like as soon as it's coming out, it's being used for the most part. At least we have the furnace fuel right now to match the production levels. That's 
really what I was concerned about more. Oh wow, they already trashed that. Like a heartbeat. Cool. Uh, let's also prioritize this well. Do we need to have the well produce or well uh, destroyed? Maybe we do. Kill the road, my friends. Kill the road. Prioritize the well destruction, and we will put down the base of our brand new central church. Praise be. Deus Vault. Oh, hey! Look how nice and full our fields are right now. That is a much better sign than we had before. It's late summer, and we're already at almost harvest time. So, that is a very, very good sign that the calculation is, in fact, accurate. And we are getting more food per worker, it seems. I don't know if that's because of, you know, that particular resizing or just from a fluke. I have no I have no idea. Is this road not really there, by the way? Because I, I tried to prioritize it, and it didn't actually do anything. Let's try to build a church and see what happens right now. Nope, the road still exists. Can I get some builders on the road, please? I like how people swoop in just to get that little section of road. <laughs> just to go that little extra bit of speed. Have we figured out what kind of style of road we like, by the way? I've not used a ton. I do like the... I think I like the brick a lot. Alright, what's the deal with these roads? Why can't we, in particular, <laughs> remove these roads? Can I cancel what we were doing here? No. Uh, this is cancel removal. Oh god, it's like a broken road. <sighs> if this piece of road is bugged out, I'm gonna be a super grumpy panda. <laughs> I will, I will rage. The hardest rage I could possibly rage. Uh, food is low, but we're about to start our harvest. In fact, we are getting our harvested right now on all of our fields, so... Hopefully the food numbers should shoot up like crazy. Uh, someone has docked at our trade dock. What do you have for us, please? You've got military supply. I have no idea what you need there. Fancy homers might be nice to buy. What can we order from you? Mostly some of the same. I'm going to say let's keep bringing us fancy homers because maybe one day we're going to want to buy these from you. In fact, all of these styles. All right. And you're dismissed. Go away. We're having a food crisis. We can't share food. Go away. <sighs> Listen here, Banished. If you break these roads because you're being buggy, I will not write you a Christmas card. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. I honestly goodness I was thinking that this was gonna get bugged out and I wasn't gonna be able to build my nice pretty church right in the dead center of town cool two more builders I know you guys can do it just one more who's my winner you are my hero citizen Anthon <laughs> thank you so much all right let's put this church down and we're gonna call it a wrap on this episode but welcome Holy Trinity Church of Central Tynemouth I don't know something or other but oh it's gonna look good that's going to look glorious. Log, stone, lumber, which we have plenty of. We'll also go ahead and do a little bit of a side alley around here. What would you put for the road? Sandstone, quay, brick. I think we'd be using brick here. Nice, you know, nice deep stone colors. Glorious. All around the church. And then I think I am going to stick with that idea. Maybe not a huge one. You know, not a huge... Uh, graveyard but I think it it makes sense right don't don't a lot of old cities especially European cities have you know an inner city graveyard Dang, this stupid I have never been more bothered by anything in my life than this uneven <laughs> entrance to the church uh, to the graveyard look at it though okay fenceless cemetery I think that's what we're gonna go with maybe the creators of this mod also recognize the fact that this thing was absolutely batshit crazy. Oh, an abbey. Oh, we could put like a little abbey at the edge of this, too. They gather berries and herbs and brew ale. 
make their products from local ingredients requiring no assistance or product deliveries. Do we want to have like a little abbey tucked in the back of the graveyard? Or would it make more sense to have the abbey right behind the church? <gasps> oh, it's so cute. We're going to do that, guys. We're going to put the abbey uh, right over here, kind of by right, make like a little alleyway. And then we're going to tuck a fenceless cemetery in this little spot right here. I'm, I'm so excited. It's going to match up perfectly. And everything is going to be amazing because there's no misaligned fences. Look at that. Doesn't that bother you? <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Banish. I had far too much fun this episode. Uh, hey, we've got a bunch of stuff. What can you make? I don't know. Wine, root, glassware. Sure, go crazy. Uh, apothecary of Doom. Our city hospital's up. Our apothecary's up. The one-room schoolhouse is going down. We are realigning our city a bit, doing some changes, but... New Tine Mouth is coming along. We've got a little bit more food in now because of the harvest. Um, feeling pretty good. 125 citizens. Crazy growth at year 25. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Banished. I will see you again next episode. Until then, take care.